What's up? This is Squad2440. We're following tonight to 17 video. Today we'll be upgrading the tree services shop here on the Square Farms map. We'll be hopping here in our GMC 1500 Sahira. And we'll be making our way over to the shop. Today we'll be getting a few new trucks, a new tractor, and a new skizzy, along with a few attachments for both. We are now making our way over to the tree services shop, which is on the other side of the town. It's going to be a little bit of a drive, but I really do enjoy driving over to the shops. It's a pretty realistic thing to do, and it is a very highly requested thing for me also. We are here on the Square Farms map, which will be released towards the end of this month or early next month. I've made quite a bit of progress there on the map building, and I can't wait to release this. This is going to be a pretty cool map. 20 farm fields, very big farms, and overall very nice layouts also. As you guys can see, we are actually driving driving by the Bobcat dealership, take a look that we are going to be getting a brand new Bobcat S160. It was a really highly requested uh, equipment for me to get, which is pretty cool. And as you guys can see, this GMC 1500 is a very nice vehicle to daily drive for this tree services. It does a great job handling wise, gets good MPG, and it's the perfect size for us as we just need to kind of go around, pick up uh, different things, and even just drive over to the shop. As you guys can see, we are arriving here at the tree services shop which is pretty cool we'll be parking out front here no need to kind of back in i think we'll just park right over here up first we'll be trading in our brand new 2017 chevy 3500 high country for a brand new dump truck so i think we'll first off trade this in then we'll be trading the c7 dump truck for a uh, single cab long bed pickup truck which is going to be pretty cool we'll now be kind of heading over to this chevy dealership here on the square farms map We'll be getting a 2010 Chevy 3500 rack body dump truck fully functioning. I partnered up with Super Duty Modding to make some pretty epic mods, and we worked on that together for quite some time, and it has come out very good so far. Like we're saying guys, we are switching to a long bed 8 foot single cab, which is going to be a great work truck. And the high country is a very expensive truck. This one especially is upwards of $80,000, $90,000. And I don't think these are perfect work trucks just because it's, they are so much money. I think it's better off for us to get lower trim work trucks, which, like we're saying, is my goal for all of my series now. But as you guys can see, we are arriving over here. I will continue to use these for a bunch of other videos, but mainly uh, not really for these workshops, only maybe to daily drive them. As you guys can see, these are our brand new Chevy trucks, which we'll be trading for. You guys can see this is a 2010 single cab long bed, which is nice. And then we have the brand new rack body. Take a look at this. This is a pretty cool. We'll be getting this one right now. You guys can see four functioning lights on this, and I gotta show you guys this dump bed. I did script the dump bed. Take a look at that, guys. It dumps, and the doors also open up. So take a look at that. They open up all the way, so that we could kind of unload and you guys can see that they just go to about there which is pretty cool we did also make a Ford uh, F350 2018 version which is cool I did feature that in a snow plowing video but as you guys can see pretty nice rack body dump truck everything is done on it collisions and you guys can see we do have new uh, rims also on the wheels which really do make this truck stand out I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good and I hope yours is too. I have been spending a lot more time working on mods and everything to help increase the quality of the videos. But this Chevy is going to be a very nice truck. I can't wait to put this to work within the next few days, especially throughout the entire season. Since, I mean, this is going to be a very nice truck. But overall, you guys can see handling. Everything about it is nice. And rock body dump trucks are pretty helpful. We could put a lot of brush, wood, or even wood ships here in the back and I just can't wait to use it so I actually do not want to back this in quite yet but I actually think that we might go with this one to get some of the new equipment so that's what we'll do let's kind of go uh, get the bobcat with this just because it's a dually we'll be able to handle the weight a little bit more and then we could actually go get a few attachments also so we will definitely do a few things with this before we do go get that long bed but you guys can see we're back in here and we'll be attaching here to the 18 foot low trip 
HBO trailer. I believe I do have manual attaching it, which is nice. And you guys can see, and look at that, we do not, which is okay. We'll just attach there. We'll pull forward, and we are trading in the JCV skits here. I got a ton of requests to only use Bobcat for this series, which is pretty cool. And I am currently trying my best to only use Chevy trucks for this series. So very soon, guys, we'll be trading out this F750 tree truck, which is going to be pretty cool. I will be keeping it a surprise on what I will be replacing it with. But like I was saying, I partnered up with Super Duty Mod, and we've been making some pretty cool mods. And I actually am working on a few things, so stay tuned for those. I can't wait, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and it really does mean a lot to me. I enjoy uploading daily here on YouTube and I also do enjoy featuring all of these different games here on the channel. It's a ton of fun and you guys are the ones that do help make it possible. As you guys can see, we just bought this truck. It is used, a very low mileage, really good condition and we are already putting it to work. You guys can see we are towing a uh, skid steer on a for a trailer which is pretty cool really good handling wise which is also pretty nice just take a look at that I mean this Chevy really does look pretty cool and the color combo for the tree company is also white and that's kind of why you guys see all the trucks here are in white we are just about to arrive here at the Bobcat dealership. I do recommend you go check out the video preparing it. the dealership for its grand opening. Looks like they did sell through the entire inventory, so maybe throughout the season we might be kind of hauling more over here, which might be a pretty cool idea. But as you guys can see, we'll be trading this JCB 260 Eco. Very nice JCB, but I think that S160, we haven't used that in quite some time also. It's going to be cool to kind of bring this back here to the channel. I've been using the S770 and the T770 quite a lot and I think it will be pretty cool to use this just because it's a small a lot smaller than the uh S770 that we have in the shop right now. So we'll just back this on. Pretty realistic to back it on it just because of the weight, everything like that. But you guys can see doing a pretty good job backing on it. It is a bit heavy, but whoa, you guys can see a few of the collisions. But whoa, take a look at that guys, we got this on and the controls are opposite. So we'll definitely have to learn those. We'll now be making our way back over to the shop with a brand new Bobcat. So far, you guys can see this rack body is doing a pretty good job. And I really do like the look of this rack body. I did put the bed together. I fully scripted it. And then Super Duty Modding sent me over the cab, which I really do appreciate. And you guys can see overall, we are now making our way back over to the shop. If you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and Twitter at Square2440 and give me a follow. I do post some pretty cool pictures over there and I do recommend you check them out. And the last thing we do have to do today is to go get our new Chevy truck, the 2010 single cab long bed. And we are getting a John Deere tractor. It is a bit older and I think that is going to be a pretty nice one. We won't be using this truck or trailer uh, for the rest of today, so we'll be parking up all of it. But you guys can see back in here, this is how actually a brand new tree servicers shop which I really do like I mean it does look pretty cool so we're just back in here you guys can see there's many things I will have to do around the map you guys can see I do have to fix the flooring just because a uh, grass is coming through but you guys can see we're tilting the ramps and Overall, these upgraded videos are a ton of fun. It's kind of the behind the scenes of what we'll be doing in all of my different series with the new equipment. And I mean, tree services, I can't wait to cut trees down, remove trees with the new skid steer and all of these new trucks. So stay tuned for one very soon. I can't wait to do it. Especially put this rack party to work hauling lots and lots of brush and wood. But next up, we'll be hopping here in this Chevy C7 and we'll just kind of pull this out. And I actually do want to uh, attach the uh, 40 foot bumper pull trailer to it just because it will be a bit more efficient than to come all the way back over here since we are just going to go by the tractor so we'll now kind of back this in you guys can see I try not to block in any vehicles because that means that we have more room to move around so you guys can see doing a pretty good job parking this up and whoa take a look at the look of this really does look pretty cool back then and quite a bit there and I think we'll just kind of lock up the shop just because we'll be gone for just a little while now but you guys can see pretty good job there we're actually going to be getting a skid steer pallet fork and a few attachments for the tractor also since uh, we do want to put the tractor to work so you guys since we'll be backing up here I believe that we can attach to it take a look at that and now we'll be making our way over to get the new Chevy truck if you do have any cool ideas for any of my series, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy featuring all these different series here on my channel. 
as you guys just saw there, if you do take the turns too sharp, the wheels of the trailer do go up onto uh, the curbs, and that's pretty realistic, and I really do like these wheels a lot. I've been going back and forth on deciding if I want the sidewalks here on the map, and I just really do like it. The textures, everything about this map does look pretty cool, but as you guys can see, very nice, and like I was saying earlier, guys, the Square Farms map will be released towards the end of this month or early next month. I've done a ton of progress, so you guys will be seeing a few more map building videos some special things are going to be added on to it. We'll be parking up the C7 over here. We actually just bought this recently, put it to work, but I think it's time now for us to kind of uh, retire this since it is pretty old. And you guys can see we are buying this uh, Chevy uh, 2010 single cab long bed. Take a look at this. We will be adjusting the textures just a little bit. You guys can see pretty realistic wheels also on this truck. I'm looking to add a second daily driver truck to our series, so let me know down below in the comments guys, what should we add, should we buy the back the High Country Dually for our second daily driver, let me know, but as you guys can see, this might be a bit tricky, since I will have to raise up the hitch here on this truck, but let's kind of see if we are able to kind of uh, do the tractor and kind of get the other things. Next up, we'll be going over to the store first to get a few attachments, just because I do want to put those on the front of the trailer, and then we'll be putting the tractor there on the back. As you guys can see, a little bit more work is to be done here on this truck, but very nice so far, and I can't wait to put this to work. I will be getting wood sides for the back, and uh, the tailgate will be fully functioning, which should be nice. We'll be able to do a variety of things with it. But overall, very exciting day for us, getting these new trucks. I really just enjoy getting them. As you guys can so we are arriving here at the store. We'll be getting a few attachments. I actually think we'll probably just park up right like this. No need to kind of drop down the ramp, anything like that. We'll keep the Duramax running. But as you guys can see, 3500 HD. We'll be getting both of these attachments for our tractor. You guys can see it's a saw table and then a small wood chipper, which is nice. And it is going to be a bit heavy to lift this up. A bit unrealistic. But at the same time, it does work, which is very helpful for us. We'll definitely now try to turn. it. Hopefully this does not fall. It's a very tricky thing to do by using a controller is very helpful I have noticed here on a PC for controls you guys can see just about to load this on which is very nice as you guys can see, take a look at that. Because of the weight of it, we are kind of pulling a wheelie there in the back, which is not that good. And this will be a bit of a challenge to kind of take off this power fork. But we'll definitely give it a try. It looks like we did do a pretty good job there. And I really do like how you could just kind of load these up with a power fork. That's pretty cool. But also use the three points. As you guys can see, we'll definitely come over here now and lift this up. You guys can see, very nice saw table. And I think we'll most likely kind of buy a shelf so we could put these up on the shelf at our shop. I think that a shelf would be very helpful. We could put a lot of attachments, everything like that. So let me know guys, should we get one of those? And we are actually going to be buying this pallet fork also. So we're just going to park that there. Hop out of the uh, JCB. That's pretty funny. We just traded in hours to get a new uh, Bobcat. So now we'll be making our way over to the John Deere dealership and the exit is right over here. As you guys can see, it looks like we've kind of caught over here, which is not the best. This will be a bit tricky to kind of leave this area, but it looks like we are doing it, and it's working out. I think once we do get the John Deere tractor, it might balance out just a little bit better because we'll have more weight there in the back of it. Like I was saying, one of the problems with the trailer is the tongue is actually a bit higher on the trailer also, so that doesn't really help us out. And just because of this, I don't really want to be pulling into the driveway of the dealership. But as you guys can see, we are coming over here to the John Deere dealership let me know down below in the comments guys should we do a video preparing this for its grand opening it's still kind of in the works but they were able to give us this uh, very early which is nice and I think that we should be able to kind of drive it on we'll actually kind of uh, just turn our hazard lights on just kind of keep those running you guys can see a lot of the lights are done but I do have a little bit of readjusting I found this uh, tractor here on the official farming website and I thought I just had to add it to a few of my series you guys can see it's a 60 
330 John Deere with a cabin. It's a pretty old tractor, but it works. We got it at a great price, and take a look at the quality of it. Very nicely done. It. I can't wait to put this to work, and I, it's going to be pretty cool. It is two-wheel drive, as you guys can see, and it does have a nice cabin, which is perfect for any a winter, and we could possibly get a front loader attached in for it. So let me know if we should do it. We'll now kind of be backing on. Looks like we'll have a problem there, just because the ramps are just so high up. We'll have to come back over here to the Chevy and disconnect it. But like I was saying, guys, this is a problem with the trailer. You guys can see the tongue is a, a little bit higher than what it should be. And then the truck needs to be a little bit raised. So that's kind of the problem. It's the trailer and the attachment. But once we put this back here, you guys can see it should kind of offset that. As you guys can see, we got this trailer fully loaded, which is nice. We'll now be making our way back over to the tree services shop for the final time today in the upgrade video. Very busy day. You guys can see we got two brand new trucks. We got a few different attachments. And take a look at that. We got a tractor and also bobcats uh, skids here, which is nice. You guys can see very wide turn. Sometimes if you do do a pretty good job, you will be okay turning here on this map, which is good. But as you guys can see, we are just around the corner. And just because this is a pretty big trailer I really just am going to unload it in the street and then we'll kind of back this in but yes we did buy this trailer from the rental company you guys showed a ton of support for that also but as you guys can see we are just about to arrive here we'll actually I think we should attempt to kind of back in and just because it is a pretty big trailer it's gonna give it a try and if not we'll just unload it here from the street I hope you guys are excited for all of the very cool videos coming to the channel. I will be featuring just about around one to two real life videos, landscaping, some cool things like that here on the channel very soon, which is also going to be a pretty cool thing to do. But as you guys can see, we actually did do a pretty good job backing it in. And well, now we hopping here in the John Deere, and we'll be unloading it. Now, I think it would be nice to kind of just attach to those now, but I think it's going to be a bit easier with the skid steer, especially since it's a bit uh, easier to work around with, especially since we could put them in the corner. But as you guys can see, we'll now be parking this John Deere here on the inside of the shop. Very nicely done. I actually do think we will have to move a few things around. Let's kind of hop here in the stump grinder. We don't usually use this too often, so it's kind of just back it up here all the way up against the wall. That looks to be perfect and this tractor looks like we'll fit right up against here which is very nice as you guys can see this is going to be a pretty nice area for that tractor up next we'll be hopping here in the bobcat i really do like the bobcat very nice and i actually think we'll probably just kind of come over here disconnect this attachment right over there very nice and this is a little bit bigger than the jcb so we should be a little bit uh, better off kind of unloading these we'll definitely come around here and let's kind of see if we can pick these up and i do want to try to do more first person i want to do like a first person challenge where we do the entire video in first person view so let me know if we should do that i think that i should be able to manage it you guys can see doing a pretty good job it will now lower it down no need to travel with it high but i can't wait to put this uh to work i did use it in a few videos Videos are ready but it's overall very nice you guys can see I think we'll probably I, I think I do have a pretty cool area for it we'll just kind of park it right like this in this little area actually we could kind of put it all the way over here so let's just kind of put it here kind of tucked out of the way and let's also double check so yeah it looks like if we did need to grab it that should work there we'll definitely unload that back it up in the last part it will be the most challenging one just because of the size and how big it is but wow this skid steer is just so big to maneuver but it's also nice to have a big one for uh, the larger things like what we are doing today. We'll get this last one unloaded if we can. If not, we'll definitely call it a day right about now. But let's definitely give this a try. Sometimes it is a bit tricky to get the power fork right on the underneath of it. And take a look at that, guys. Looks like this will just kind of slide here on us. I will have to do this one off camera. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tree Services upgrade video. Getting two new Chevy trucks, a skid steer tractor, and a few attachments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.